Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to the farm. So, we are here on our last hay field doing some swathing. Um, hopefully we can get this field finished up today and get started on some uh, raking. Um, I've gone around it twice so far and working on the third pass around. Uh, and I got that other field finished that we, uh, I think we started on it a little bit in uh, yesterday's video um, and I got that finished up so we're gonna try and get this field uh, finished and uh, hopefully get started on raking our end rows at the very least so that way we can get all those raked up and then start uh, baling those and baling our ditches and uh, start wrapping up hay for the uh, first cutting at the very least hopefully uh, wrap it up for the for the year that'd be very very nice but uh, I'm not sure that we're gonna get to be so lucky so we'll have to uh, see how much hay we get we'll at least be done making hay for a little while because uh, we're going to have to take care of the uh, um, spring fertilizer and chemical application and that way we can get that done and get uh, ready for harvest season I am super ready for harvest super excited to do a harvest on this map well I mean where I've planted the seeds and stuff like that I do have a save game running on here without Seasons mod, uh, so, um, you know, when you first start a save game without Seasons mod, all the fields are planted, and uh, some of them are ready to harvest right away, but I fast-forwarded time until everything was ready, and um, stuff like that, so, <clears throat> uh, so that way I could start harvesting and stuff, and starting off with the corn, because there's, like, more than three quarter of this map is planted in corn uh, to begin with it's insane amount of corn but uh, starting off with harvesting that and then uh, just something to mess around with I like doing harvest especially when I get to play with the grain augers um, you know in this map that's basically about your only way for storage except for the little bit of storage here at this farm uh, according to the escape menu, uh, we only have 100,000 liters of storage here, but how true that is, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if it is 100,000 or if it's more and it's only showing 100,000. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what the deal is there. But... Uh, where there is a little bit of storage at this farm, so. So that is also an option for us uh, on here if we run out of uh, grain bin space and want to, uh, you know, still want to store stuff but don't want to, you know, like. I'm trying to stick to see if we can stick to the grain bins that we have at our farm but if we have to expand I'd like to s expand over to here first but I don't think that we're going to need to um, I mean of course it would be awesome to have to uh, expand majorly because we have so much grain but I'm not exactly sure how much we're gonna get uh, hopefully it's pretty good but we're just going to have to hope that our fertilizer works out correctly and uh, gives us a pretty good yield. But uh, we'll have to see. But I would, you know, if we have to expand to other grain storage areas, I'd like to first off come over here and store grain uh, because, you know, we're running this farm. So I'd like to store it here, you know, at our second farm um, you know because the other farms we don't own you know we're not running out of them I guess I should say 
And then, I mean, there are quite a few bins that are spread out throughout the map that aren't at farms. So we could run a couple of those if we need to, but... Um, yeah, I'd, I think we'll uh, fill this up first if we have to. Or maybe not. Maybe there's... I have to look again. Maybe there are a couple of bins that are closer to the farm. So if there's some that are, like, super close, then we could, uh, we could use those instead. Because those are, you know, much closer. So then we could... You know, those could be our bins. I mean, far away bins could also be ours as well, but... I'd rather have stuff that's close because then it's less of a drive for everything. Especially because we have to take the auger and take the uh, gravity wagon there, so. <clears throat> so we're just about done with this here. And then uh, we'll just take this and we'll park it in the shed for now. Because this is all the hay that I'm going to cut for now that I'm planning to anyways. Um, I may cut a little bit more after I finish baling if I don't have... You know, if I'm still a little far off from where I want to be. But it's not that far that I couldn't cut a little more. Um, but we'll just put it in the shed for now and let it sit. And then we'll see what uh, what's going to happen if we're going to do a little bit more or if we'll be fine and we can just leave this thing sit until next year uh, or until we have to do a second cutting who knows uh, we should be quite okay on silage for quite a while uh, if you remember we filled both of our silos twice so that means we have room for 200,000 liters of silage um, and we have a hundred thousand liters of silage already and then another hundred thousand liters that's waiting to ferment so we uh, we have more than enough silage uh, we will be sitting quite uh, quite nicely with that okay so that's that section so then we just have a couple passes down here and then we'll be able to start raking some of this hay this is a giant downhill right here so I'm kinda kinda worried about how this is gonna play out uh, in terms of the bales I would really not want to uh, put any down in the pond because if a bale goes in the pond it's gone there's no getting that one back. So, or the lake, I guess I should call this one a lake. The one by our dairy farm here, that's a pond. But this is a lake right here. This is way larger than that. Of course, our pond does feed off of this lake, but... Alright, so we got one more pass left. And that is a wrap on the first round of hay, at least for now. So now we'll just make our way back. This is a really, really nice swather. really like this thing we'll go ahead and we'll shut our door it does take quite a long time to get uh, dirty we've got almost three hours on this thing and it's not fully dirty yet it is quite dirty though but it's not uh, not quite full dirt
Alright, so let's get this thing put away. And we'll get uh, get started on some raking. Perfect. So now we'll go run over here and we'll grab our rake from this field here. Get her folded up and we'll head on out of here. See our baler really isn't even that dirty either. the thumbnail picture and then go ahead and take that out right away otherwise I will uh, forget about it I've done that many a time now oh we should probably lift our loader a little bit I know some people, they like to lift their lo loaders straight up in the air while they do work. And I, I don't know, I think that's just kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> if you're going to do that, I think it, you might as well just take the thing off. In my opinion, of course. That's, I'm sure somebody's got a reason for doing it, but to me it just makes more sense to just take the thing off. If you're just going to leave it straight up in the air. But that is just me. Okay, so let's see. We aren't going to rake that one. We're going to rake over there. So we'll just go ahead and fold this up. Just so it's not going to hit anything or anything like that. Okay, so we want to go in right about here. this one done Let's lift this up apparently it wants to still rake this little piece will be able to rake basically the entire thing because it's two passes and then there's that little short one and, and it's not worth raking at all so let's 
So now, gotta go over here and it's the second windrow in that we start on. First one, it just kind of wraps around the house and it's just the single windrow there. So it isn't uh, something that pays to rake, as you can see. Just kind of goes behind the garden there then. able to go around this thing twice I think is how I cut it I can't remember now if I cut it to go around it twice or not we'll do this second round around it I guess and see this will tell us yeah just go around twice and then Of course, we're just raking the end rows right now, so it'll go by pretty quick. Since there isn't uh, isn't much, there's usually about two rounds of field, and then that's it. So, come on, tractor, climb that hill. There we go. Okay, so now I think we have, let's see here, I have to get out and run over here once, did I, no, this one I'm not going to rake, I think, is, yeah, that one I'm not raking, so those I'm not raking, so we just got to rake these fields up here. this field here this is where we are going to be raking next I think it's just twice around this field here so basically once around with the rake here because I think I only did it two times around in this one with the swather because I forgot that I was going to be doing uh, raking the first pass on this field so I only did two well and it because of that corner down there, that was kind of the way that it worked out. So, so as I could maybe sneak in there and try and get a second pass around in, but we can just leave it until we finish the raking. Because right now we're just, like I said, we're just raking these end rows, and then we'll bail all these end rows and the ditches, and then we'll come back and we'll finish raking. Uh, the fields and then finish bailing and then we'll have to start hauling our hay so we still got a little got still got a little while until uh, until we start field work again uh, we still got quite a bit of hay work to do I think we'll probably be another week we're probably another week away from uh, field work So we still got uh, still got a fair amount of stuff to do between now and uh, when we start spraying and fertilizing. I 
Alright, so now this one is done as well. Could have also cut that, but because by the time we buy cows, it would be grown back again. So I guess if we need more hay, we can maybe cut that, uh, cut our pasture there, or there's that big field there. Or I guess it's really not a field per se, but um, you know that big grass area there that we could cut too. not moving very fast up this hill. There we go. Huh. So this field will have two rounds with the rake because uh, I did four passes with the swather so because I definitely remembered on this field I kind of remembered on the other one but like I said it just with the way that it was on that one end it kind of made it a little bit hard to uh, do an end row or a, an end row, a second end row that's what I meant to say so I think we'll be able to start bailing our end rows a little bit in this video and then we'll uh, we'll do more of it in tomorrow's video because we're down to about seven minutes left. Uh, a little more than that, but about seven minutes left before our half hour mark. So this is going out on Sunday and it is Monday right now that I'm recording this. Uh, everything else that you've seen up until this point this week I recorded last weekend so uh, I've done about a week worth of video in two and a half days I do still have to record the mapping videos from this week uh, that you saw but uh, that's all that I got left as of Monday here Try and get up this hill again. We're gonna try and get up it a lot more too. But we'll, when we break this again, we will be doing up and down. I can't tell if this rake really has a dirt skin on it. Doesn't seem to. Although it kind of does. I don't know. If it does, it's like a very light dirt. There isn't really much to it if there is. If this tractor had the uh, exhaust particles on it, I think it'd be having a big cloud following it right now. As high as our fuel usage meter is, and 
realized how much of a struggle it was having there. This field's definitely going to be interesting to bail because if I fill up anywhere beyond like this point right here, it's going to roll and. I think what I almost might have to do is just put the bale spears on this uh, tractor and pull it over here and then when I bale this field I'm just going to have to um, have the bale spears or have this tractor with the bale spears on it over in this field so that way as soon as I dump a bale I can just come spear it and then I can you know, stack it someplace. I can even just pull the trailer over here right away. And I could just, we could just hook that to the pickup, I guess. Uh, you know, while we load it, just to make sure that it doesn't move or anything. So we'll just pull this into the yard and let it sit because we're not going to need it for a little while now. Because we have uh, plenty of baling to do. I will do a fair amount of the baling off camera, um, just because we have a lot of baling to do right now. So I'll do a fair amount of it off camera, just so that way it doesn't take forever to get it all done. So we will leave this guy sit right here. And we'll head back here and grab our baler. We've made 16 bales so far, so I'm hoping we can make another 34, maybe even 40 or so. Uh, I'd like to shoot for about 50 bales. Uh, I know I mentioned this a couple of times now, but I'm hoping to shoot for 50 bales or so uh, at the minimum. Um, I don't know if 100 is... I mean, 100 would be nice, but I think 100 is definitely a little more than we need. Let's get that little bit picked up there. getting a pretty fair amount of hay from our windrows here but not sure how much it's gonna give us in terms of bales that is Whew. barely missed that tree there just barely Come on. There we go. Just about full now. See if we can do some of this in cab here. I can't really see though in this area. It's so dark. That's one thing that would have been nice about tedding it is, uh, you know, the gr windrows would be lighter, so we'd be able to see it a little better, but we really didn't need to buy that tedder in the first place. Wish I had remembered that, but I did not. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a bunch of this bailing off camera here. Um, I'll get it to where... Like, I'm going to just bail all these ditches, and then when we come back, we'll have, uh, 
we'll be able to work on bailing more of our end rows. Uh, basically, I'm going to bail everything except for that field and those two fields up there. And then we'll, uh, we'll bail those end rows in tomorrow's video. And then, um, and then we can finish our raking and stuff too. But that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.